so the Food Co-op is such a, a great example, and I'm, I'm so thrilled we can be here. So the Food Conspiracy is actually physically located on 4th Avenue. For folks who aren't familiar with the 4th Avenue area, this is one of the oldest, if not the oldest, independent merchant organization in the state. So it's a very strong cohesive organization of local merchants. So I'm Erica Mitnick White. I'm the Southern Arizona Director for Local First Arizona. Um, local First Arizona is a nonprofit local business coalition. We work really hard to get the message out that when we support locally owned businesses, we you know we keep the jobs and money here. That we keep almost four times as much money in the community, and we create more opportunity. We are the largest local business coalition in North America. Uh, we've been around for over 10 years. Our director, Kimber Lanning, founded the organization in Phoenix. She was the owner of a record store and an art gallery, and she was really discouraged seeing really talented people leaving the community in, in droves, not feeling connected to their community, not staying. At the same time, she was seeing chains move in and really decimating local businesses, and she realized something had to be done about this. You know, basically for about every hundred dollars you spend in something like retail, about forty-three dollars stays here when you spend it with a local business, as opposed to only thirteen dollars that stays in the community when you shop with a chain store. To illustrate how it works, we have fifteen Starbucks and we have fifteen local coffee houses. Well the reality is these fifteen local coffee houses, fifteen local graphic designers potentially have a gig. <laughs> My name is Kelly Waters and I'm the Education and Outreach Coordinator here at Food Conspiracy Co-op and we are a um, retail uh, consumer grocery uh, natural food store and we're a cooperative so we're one of the only um, retail grocery cooperatives in Tucson. Um, we have about 3,400 members uh, that are our owners and um, Basically what that means is we're, we're like a, a unique business model in that our owners are our shoppers. Sometimes they're our vendors, sometimes they're also the employees, um, but our owners are um, invested in the co-op. They pay $180 to be for equity and um, that gives them the privilege of voting. Um, we have a board of directors that um, kind of guides the vision for the for the food conspiracy co-op um, and um, so every year we have we elect the board of directors and we also might have issues uh, facing the co-op that we vote on uh, we also have a cooperative community fund where we give away um, interest on a fund that we have and our community members that are owners get to vote on that um, and there are um, economic benefits of being a, a co-op owner uh, we have a program specifically uh, that benefits our owners called Basic Buys. So it's 10% uh, above wholesale and it's a handful of items that we put on sale every month for our owners. Um, and then the, one of the best benefits, of course, is just being part of the community organization that's really um, been vital for Tucson for the last almost 45 years. Anyone can join and anyone can shop, so you don't have to be an owner to shop here. So that's a, a, a big perception that we face is that you know you have to be an owner to shop at the co-op, but of course anyone can shop here and anyone can become a member. So I think the main struggle is right now for us is that um, what co-ops used to offer the natural, organic, and you know we were kind of the leaders at the time um, in the 70s and 80s. And especially in the 80s, it was kind of still counterculture to have kind of a healthy lifestyle. Whereas today, which we're really glad, you know, everybody is kind of aspiring and moving in the direction of, of health and wellness. And so we're seeing organic and natural in, in, in uh, retail chains and supermarkets like um, Target, Walmart. Um, and we're seeing lots of also um, organic and natural grocers coming into the Tucson market. So it really 
gets us on our toes. But the exciting thing about being a small co-op is that we are nimble and we can um, make really um, quick decisions about things. And we usually take a lot of the, um, the suggestions and comments from our, our owners and shoppers into account. So that's one thing that really makes us different is that we can respond really fast and that we, can, we also can take kind of your suggestions about, I'd really like to see this or I'd really like you to carry this particular product. Um, it's not coming, uh, you know, it's not a decision that's made at a corporate level, it's made at a community level. And, and the co-op is really all about people. And so we're able to make those kinds of decisions pretty quickly. The co-op's been here for a long time and it's an amazing organization, not just because Food Conspiracy is a co-op, which in itself is really extraordinary. This, this business is owned by the members. So you very much have a business where it's rooted in the community to the degree that people who live here have a say in how this business operates. In addition to that, the co-op makes so many opportunities available for local products to help get them to market, to help get them into the hands of people. And there's a lot of great examples we can look at on the shelves here of where they're actively supporting local businesses. This is an R bar. This is a, a locally made product, and they've actually been making these for for quite a few years. And you know, the co-op is probably one of the first places to, to carry this and to help you know get them their start as they've developed and evolved. And and the business has really grown. They actually worked with a great organization here in Tucson, Startup Tucson, who has a Thrive Accelerator for small businesses to help get them to the next level. So we're really lucky to have a resource like the Food Conspiracy Food Co-op in the Tucson community. They are an amazing resource for our community in terms of food education, um, letting people know about sustainability, educating them on shared ownership, what it means to be a part of shared ownership, and providing a venue and an outlet and a place where people can come in contact with these amazing locally produced products. It's so valuable.